Welcome back to the studio. Perspective art can be very difficult, especially just understanding perspective uh, when trying to make your artwork, when it comes to illustrations, concept artwork, modeling, any of the sort. As you can see in front of me, I have modeling software open, which is gonna be Blender. And today's video is all about how you can take a basic shape or multiple shapes and then use that to aid your perspective. So you can see here what I've done is I've grabbed a cylinder and I've just cut it in half so that I basically got this basic shape of an underhang for a bridge. And you can see the top that I have right here. Now what I'm able to do is I'm sort of able to move this piece around, find the kind of perspective that I want, see the different vanishing points moving on off in the distance. And then when I'm done, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture of the exact sort of angle that I want, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna import it in to our drawing software. Okay, so we have imported the model from Blender into Autodesk. This is just gonna be my drawing software. You can obviously import it into any drawing software that you want. I recommend Autodesk because it's free and you have the option to do quick measurements and really align everything perfectly before throwing it into another application that perhaps isn't as good with dealing with quick perspective. So that way you can do all the finish, final uh, finishing touches on top of that. But this is the 3D model that we have right here. This shows you a actual solid rendition of what it is. Now, I'm gonna show you something. You can either use the 3D model that you have right here and build everything on top of that, which is completely fine, but if you really want sort of the ability to see through and do even more quick measurements, you can get rid of this and import a wireframe version. Now, this is awesome because normally, as you know, with perspective, we have to subdivide everything and figure out where all of our different midpoints are. Um, if we want to sort of, if we want to grab, you know, one point, two thirds the way through or a third of the way through and place an object, we need to copy it onto the other side. We then need to figure out through subdivisions how to find that one third, uh, you know, that point on the opposite side. So it just takes a long time. But with the wireframe, we really can cut down on this amount of time. As you can see, really simplistic things. Let me go ahead and pull out a different color real quickly so that you can see this. If we grab a darker color, you can see if we go right here, look at this, we already have our middle, our midpoint, right? We already have like the middle of this entire thing, right? If you're looking for quarters, you're looking, you're like, okay, well, here's a point right here and that would be one and so this is it right here, right? And so you've already found these different points. So it, it makes it really, really easy because you can just divide everything into one, two, three, four that quickly instead of we didn't have to subdivide everything. And it's really nice because when we have these 3D models, right? We can see the red line, which is moving up into our one vanishing point, the green line, which is moving up into our other vanishing point. We've got a horizon line, which is about right there that we can see. Um, we can see that the middle of this this whole bridge right here is by this right this point right here that we can see, which is this loop, which is within the wireframe as we're moving, um, and and so it's incredibly useful for us to be able to sort of find all of these things really really quickly. Now, why do we want to use a three D model um, just sort of for a layout? and rather than drawing it by itself. Um, and if I do import this in, how can I then change it? Well, I'm gonna show you real quickly what we can do. If you wanna change something really quickly, let's say for example, we're saying, I don't like this full look of the bridge. You know, it's too wide for me. I wanna stylize it. Well, I could draw straight down right to the edge where this begins, right, and continue with continue with uh, this that we've got right here, right? We can continue with what we have. This, one sec, we're just flickering, so I'm gonna go ahead and just unplug this real quickly, put it right back in. Okay, perfect. All right, so now the flickering's gone. Okay, so we can draw right down here, right? Now, what have we just done? Well, initially it was all the way out right here, right? We had this little bit, which was the continuation of, this, of the uh, cylindrical form. But what we did was we got rid of that and we just went right here and, 
and we cut this sort of like wedge shape out so that we could just say, you know what, we're gonna go straight down and we could copy that on the other side right here. We could just go straight down and say, you know what, this is gonna be our edge, right? So we can cut into things real quickly and we don't have to redraw the actual objects all over again. It just makes it really easy to work off this sort of frame that we already have. It's really simple. You can throw a 3D object into a uh, actual 3D modeling uh, platform or application. You can just move things around real quickly, build some quick shapes or something. You could use one, you could put multiple, get a whole scene laid out real quickly rather than drawing it and you have everything done. So now what can we do? Well, this is kind of going to be hard to see, but what I've done right here is we could actually lower this, the frame, a little bit. There you go. Okay, I went ahead and I said, you know what, I'm going to use this frame and I'm going to draw what it is that I want, right? So I've added some different digitized ad screens right here, information screen. I've got a stylized tree, which is right in the middle. I've got foliage, which is going across. You know, we've got some things hanging down. Uh, this is the planter, right? And so we can have, you know, our people of being about, you know, this height, let's say, or so, walking across this bridge. And now we've just easily added everything in, and we can make a whole scene out of this, right? So it's really quick. It's really simple. It's very effective for you. And that's something that you can really do, is you can take this basic shape, you can cut into it, you can add upon it, you can expand. Um, you can build up, you can build down, and it just really saves you a lot of time and that's why I think that um, you should be willing to use uh, 3D models when you are uh, creating uh, concept art or you're creating illustrations. If you're doing uh, sort of, you know, landscapes can be really useful too with shapes. If you're doing actual models that you're trying to design, orthographics, anything like that, super, super useful. It allows you to continue, you know, you know where your horizon line is, right? Which is that's going off relatively around there in the distance. You have your vanishing points that are already set up for you. You don't need to put in measuring points if you don't want to. You don't need to find all of that because you can just use the basic shape that you have and use subdivisions based off this model and then just expand off from there. So it makes it really easy. You can change the actual size and proportions of your character relative to the background super easy, right? If I want my character to be this tall, well, I could also make them this tall and I, make, I can make it a super, super, uh, you know, sort of thin, um, small bridge rather than a relatively large one. I could change my character height to be this big, a really small character, which case this is a massive bridge, right? And everything can be changed in proportion around that. And so it just makes it really easy without having to adjust the measurements, the proportions of the entirety of the scene uh, for the object that we have, which is very time consuming. It just makes it really quick. So I'll go ahead and cut it here, and then I'm going to put up the actual finished drawing that I have just used off of this, and I can flash back and forth, and then that way you can sort of see the development and why this is so useful. So I'll be right back. And here's the final product. As you can see, it's sort of a slightly futuristic sort of bridge and a metropolis sort of area, large cityscape, not too far off in the future, but relatively in that direction, very green. The sketch took me in total a little bit over 10 minutes, so you know, just adding some basic shapes on top of it, adding some foliage, a little bit of little designs. It's just a simple sketch, just to show that you can throw some detail in it and how you can just go from the initial 3D model and then go into something beyond that, which aids your own artwork. I highly recommend using this. It's a really great tool to cut down on time, make it easier for yourself, work smarter, not harder. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you're able to use this in your everyday artwork and I'll be able to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.